Israeli military operations in Gaza have intensified, leading to devastating consequences for the already dire humanitarian situation in the region. The escalation of violence has left countless innocent civilians trapped in a harrowing cycle of destruction and despair. Without that credible plan, uh, a, a major operation in Rafah would be a disaster. We, 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 we agree with that. Uh, and we're continuing to talk to our Israeli counterparts about what that plan might look like. Okay. The displacement of thousands of families adds to the urgency of the situation, with many seeking refuge in overcrowded shelters or makeshift camps, lacking adequate protection from the relentless bombardment. The psychological toll of living under constant fear and uncertainty weighs heavily on the mental health of the population, particularly children, who are enduring profound trauma as a result of the violence. Uh, the situation right now in, in Gaza and in the Middle East in general is, uh, uh, is dire. Uh, and, uh, and the extra pressures of the, uh, the threats uh, to, uh, to uh, more action on, on Rafah uh, has everyone deeply worried. Uh, we need to work on ceasefire uh, as rapidly as possible, but uh, the most important thing is how do we solve this problem once and for all, um, giving a Palestinians a sense of a future uh, that they have their own state, but also the security of Israel. Urgent appeals for humanitarian assistance, including medical aid, shelter, and basic necessities, have been issued as the situation continues to deteriorate rapidly. Amidst the devastation and despair, calls for an immediate ceasefire and a return to dialogue to resolve the underlying issues driving the conflict have grown louder. We're now in the process um, with our counterparts uh, from Qatar, from Egypt, from Israel, in working on that and working very intensely on that with the goal uh, of trying to find, a, find an agreement. And I believe that, uh, that it is possible now. As I said, there are some very, very hard issues uh, that have to be resolved, but uh, we're committed to doing everything we can.